Governor Newsom there in his state of the state address admitting we have more to do when it comes to the homelessness crisis. What will it take to end this problem for good? Let's bring in an independent candidate running for mayor of Los Angeles, Craig Grivey, who says he has a better plan. Craig, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure to be back. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Marla. Uh, so the governor uh, just in the last week unveiled his plan, uh, which would be to make it easier for people that are mentally ill or having addiction issues to potentially be forced into treatment based off of a court case if somebody that loves them you know, uh, says that they have a problem and uh, somebody, a judge, says they need to get help. What do you make of that plan? I mean, by all means, our governor moves at a glacial pace. I'm glad that he's finally discovered what common sense has told us for years. We can't simply toss homeless individuals into million dollar apartments and let them fend for themselves. The reality is the people who need mental health and addiction treatment must be required to get it. Your plan for homelessness and how is it different from everybody else's? Well, the reality is that my plan is focused on what 14 other municipalities have done to end homelessness, where more than 50 cities are halfway to doing that, instead of doubling down on the solutions that are failing in Los Angeles. So yes, we need to require people to get mental health and addiction treatment. We need a real-time database. We need a 24-7 hotline that prevents new people from becoming homeless. And most importantly, we need to move away from the corruption-riddled boondoggle of permanent supportive housing and focus instead on immediate and transitional supportive housing. My plan, unlike every other plan out there, has numbers, accountability, and a focus on results that have worked across this country. The reality is that America is making progress on homelessness, while LA is not, so we need to model on what's working elsewhere. Because you've never held office before, for people who say, you know, you don't have the experience, you, what do you say to that, just out of the gate? What do you say when someone questions that? I have experience leading and devising teams and strategies of thousands of people for companies 10 times the size of Los Angeles, some of America's largest and most trusted corporations. My job has been to find complex and impossible, seemingly impossible solutions to the most impactful crises of our day for corporations like Verizon and MasterCard for the late Kobe Bryant. So I've got experience at the highest levels with budgets many times larger than the city of Los Angeles. And I've got an exhaustive knowledge of everything that we, do, we, we need to do based on research and full teams of people that I'm bringing to the table. Now, one of the big stories of the last year has been the vaccine mandates or lack thereof. LA City has had a vaccine mandate. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti has been pretty strict about that. Just uh, today, two more LAPD officers fired for not complying with the city's COVID-19 vaccine mandate. What do you make of that, and what happens to that if you're mayor? So, as mayor, I would not enforce or seek a vaccine mandate. The reality is that we need to encourage and incentivize people to get vaccinated but now, two years later, COVID is with us and will always be with us. The fact that we're still talking about vaccines and masks shows how misplaced our priorities are. We need to be instead focused on what our recovery plan is. And the only candidate with a plan to move us out of COVID to focus on the two years of lost education for our children, on revitalizing small businesses, on moving our economy forward. That's where our attention should be, not on dismissing people because they refuse to get a vaccine. We've got to move beyond. The city has lost the trust, not just of its employees, but of the public. We need to restore that trust with concrete programs to move us forward. We only have a few seconds left. Uh, the majority of LA uh, mayoral candidates say that they would not defund uh, the police department. Where do you stand? Would you defund the police? Absolutely not. We need to fully fund the police while fully funding an independent, nonviolent community engagement force. And lastly, um, you're an independent candidate. This is a very democratic city. What's the value of being an independent candidate and, and how do you get your message through? I can bring and do bring bold, fresh ideas to this race. There are some who want this to be a race among career insiders and politicians who've been at the seat of power for 30 years. Look where that's gotten us. The people of this city deserve a full and fair debate from every legitimate candidate, including all of the new ideas we can bring to the table when it comes to the crises we face. 
So I'm out there every single day talking to thousands of Angelinos, getting the word out. And the Angelinos of this city deserve the opportunity to hear from every candidate in the race, not just career institutionalists. His web site is craigformayor.com. Independent candidate Craig Grywe, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thanks so much for having me.